Congressman Gutierrez, for his leadership in spearheading this trip and for conducting these hearings this afternoon. I am delighted to be joined by my colleagues from Congress who have taken the time to travel to Alabama today to hear firsthand the effects of Alabama's immigration law on families, businesses, and our communities. My colleagues represent various districts across these United States and are committed to tackling this very important and tough issue. I would also like to thank our witnesses. I'd like to thank Mayor Bell for his for generosity and hospitality and hosting, let us having it here, and Sheriff Hale and all who are here today, who are witnesses. We recognize that some of you have taken a courageous step to be here and testify today, and we thank you for valuing uh, your story enough that you would like to hear publicly. It is my hope that today's ad hoc hearings will be a big step towards highlighting the need for comprehensive federal immigration reform and to show that some of us in Congress have the political willingness and courage to do something about it. One clear national standard is needed. We acknowledge that we have a broken immigration system that needs to be fixed. We understand the frustrations of Alabamians and Americans across this nation. But the solution is not a state-by-state -state approach. We believe that immigration is a national problem and must have a federal response. We will take what we hear today back to Washington as evidence of the continued need for federal comprehensive immigration reform. You know, our challenge is to make our national immigration law actually work, to shape an immigration system that reflects our values as Americans. And that means being honest about our immigration policy and putting the past partisanship aside and doing something about it. Our immigration law ought to reflect both our interests and our values as Americans. A nation cannot be secure if its borders are not secure. It is unacceptable that we have lost control over who is in our country and where they're located. But we have to treat this as a problem that must be solved and not as an opportunity for politicians to score points by preying on both the legitimate concerns and prejudices of others. We are a nation of laws, but we are foremost a nation of immigrants. To be clear, no one here is suggesting that we do not enforce immigration law. On the contrary, I believe that the federal government should enforce immigration laws that we have in place to protect our borders, our workforce, and our communities. I hope we can work together in Congress to support a national immigration policy that will secure our borders, crack down on employers who hire undocumented workers, and hold those who are here illegally accountable by requiring them to pass background checks, learn our language, and pay extra penalties while they earn the right to be an American citizen. I also know that state immigration laws like Alabama and Arizona are overreaching and flawed and unconstitutional because they preempt federal enforcement. I am pleased that the federal court has struck down many provisions of the Alabama law, and I know that the Department of Justice is working to uh, make sure that we overturn it and show it that it's unconstitutional. You know, our law in Alabama makes teachers enforcers of immigration policy. Good Samaritans should not be vulnerable to arrest and detainment, and lawful citizens should not be subject to profiling just because of the color of their skin. Some Alabama lawmakers have begun to admit that the law is flawed and have made steps, steps, and I hope big steps to reform. I am proud to be an American, but I am mostly proud to be an Alabama. And I know that this state that I call sweet home Alabama is much bigger and better than this state immigration law suggests. The impacts of this law and its unintended consequences harken us back to our state's history of intolerance and discrimination. Many people marched prayed, and died to overcome the discriminatory practices of the past. We have come too far in this state that I call home to have our worldview once again misunderstood and cast a negative light on our state's image. I look forward to working with my colleagues in Congress on a balanced and fair approach
approach to federal immigration reform, and I know that the testimony from our witnesses today will better inform us for the task ahead. Thank you so much for being here today, and I thank my colleagues again for joining us.